All right, what's up, boys? So today we're back with another video, and this is going to be a good one because these are my favorite type of videos to commentate on, and my favorite type of fights. So yeah, this was a one v one me staked matchup, meaning you could have put money on this uh, fight depending on obviously who you thought would win. And uh, yeah, I took on Easy Work GG in this. I'll give some more context here in a moment, but somebody did put five hundred dollars on this fight, and. Um, I believe I seen it in the stake and chat or he messaged me. I forget who it was in particular, but I remember him messaging me. So yeah. Shout out to who that is. And you know, I'm hope I did you proud at least in this fight. So yeah, let's get into it. Obviously big stakes here. And people or other people put I know a lot of money as well, because I was the maxed out favourite, meaning that hundreds and probably in the thousands of dollars were placed on me in total. So obviously that's a lot riding on my back going into this fight. And uh yeah, I don't wanna aim I don't I aim to, you know, impress. So yeah, but the only problem here was this fight was short notice, and obviously I don't really believe in, you know, short notice fights in the UFC, it's only the game, but in this case it was an issue because I hadn't been playing at all, I probably hadn't played, you know, really, I played one fight only, and that was the day before, and it was another competitive fight, and that's going to be another video I'm going to upload here, and uh, it's not easy stepping in against anyone never mind being i am um, a really top player in easy work gg always active on the game as well sharp as uh as you can be and as well as that on top of that um it was in heavyweight so i hadn't played heavyweight in even longer so yeah definitely very rusty coming into this one kind of trying to work off you know just mostly uh muscle memory and my actual instincts find a stone here early it was heavyweight, unfortunately, which is like a randomly generated weight class. Obviously, me and Easy Work definitely wouldn't would have preferred something, you know, outside the realm of heavyweight. Except, but you know, both big fans of Fade Off for good reason. I do believe he's the best heavyweight. He's tagging me right now. He's doing a good job. One thing he's trying to do, he's trying to get me to pull back, and then he's faking the hook. So he may do a jab, faint rear hook, and then he'll pop straight down the pipe as soon as I try and pull on that shot. He's also doing a really good job just with singular rear upcuts in the pocket, whether it be a jab rear upcut or just a rear uppercut and uh, with no kind of shots to set it up here. As you see, it's definitely his uh, choice of... Uh, shot and beautiful there he catches me when i'm trying to you know oh uh unload a nice three-piece combination in the jab up cut into the rear hook and he pulls back and hits me with a beautiful straight counter hit reaction in me and causing some nasty damage but there we go as i was talking about beautiful stuff from uh him there he starts kneeing me to the body so yeah i drew force blood with the stone but he drew force blood as far as knockdowns goes uh knocking me down and just, uh, yeah, kind of putting some uh, seed of doubt in my mind now. Nearly dropped me again with that rear up cut. As I was saying, that jab rear up cut combination was just going great for him this fight. And then he tries to land a slip rear up cut there. So he was not letting off as far as the up cut combinations went. And uh, yeah, also that beautiful fake uh, combination into just a single straight down the pipe. It was another one that he was really doing a good job of working off of. So obviously he was setting up his shots here. If he wasn't going for the jab uppercut and maybe I tried to pull in the jab uppercut, he was trying the jab and then trying the straight behind. So yeah, a good job of mixing up the combinations there and it definitely did catch me as he's saying, getting a nice knockdown, but as well as that, some really nice damage here. And uh, yeah, there we go. I'm kind of stealing this idea off him, except I'm trying to go throw them lead up cuts out there. I'm just trying to kind of intercept that combination on the lead, uh, on when he's trying to load it up, and just trying to be able to kind of yeah stop him in his tracks. Beautiful, beautiful round here. Get a little cut underneath his uh, Fedor's cheek. I'm just trying to kind of once again kind of shake off the rust there. So back's killing me, and uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get through that net this round. And, uh, yeah, shake off the rust, kind of get a little bit more, kind of, it felt weird. It felt like it, this fight, it, like, I felt like it was, uh, I was almost watching a fight. I was just kind of doing random things. I wasn't really, like, thinking about the fight itself. It's almost like I was watching a video of myself playing. Uh, it just felt really weird. I just didn't feel, like, in the moment. And I wasn't, I, my brain wasn't thinking as far as, you know, what he's doing, what I'm doing. And uh, what I need to do to kind of, you know, take a lead in this fight. Beautiful. You know, so I'm doing a lot of jab, jab, into rear hook combinations. I'm trying to, you know, cover the ground with the jabs. And then when his, you know, his character has the hands in front of his face blocking the straight shots coming down the pipe. I hit him with a hook. But obviously him being wise to that as he is. 
uh, tries to duck counter me, but thankfully enough, I'm quick enough to also evade that. Nice duck counter there by myself. Nice rear hook though. He's using a lot of double hook combinations as well. But definitely he's kind of he's doing his best work when it's the jab uppercut or you know the jab faint hook into straight. So yeah, short combinations are really getting the job done and that's all you need, especially in heavyweight. You see me trying to shoot an ankle pick there, so you kind of get an idea of Oh, there we go. Wait. You know, taste of his own medicine, nice jab, rear uppercut. He does power transition out of uh, soil control. And he gets a beautiful denial when I try to power transition to the backside. But we're not going to let him off that easy. No, we are not. We move in the backside. Now I'm thinking we go into back sitting. And one thing is, I'm pretty sure I had a nice smart move here. I go into the rear naked choke and I believe he thinks I want the mount transition, which is what I do. Because obviously I'm not going to submit him here. He's good fade or good sub defense. So instead of actually going for the transition into mount, I actually go for the rear naked choke and get the submission. Because I know that will then lead me and actually put me into top mount. Whereas what I wanted to be anyways, beautiful. I don't know how the elbow did not kill him there. But uh, he cannot survive too much longer. And he does not. So yeah. Once again I'm going to explain kind of what I thought I'd done at the end there. Which uh, was nice. So as that whole fight was. It was a bit of a head held war. You know a couple of body shots in between. But uh, then when I had sunk in the rear naked choke. Obviously you can go down for the top for the mount position. Or you can go up and get the rear naked choke. And obviously if I'm easy work GG. I'm thinking hey he's a head held war all the fight. He's going to want to go to top mount. And he thought right. But I believe he went about it wrong. So obviously him not denying that RNC. Made me think he went down. Thinking I was going to go for the mount transition. But instead I knew if I sink in this RNC. Obviously, I'm not going to tap him in one, so it then gives me a dominant position. And the dominant position it gives you when you sink in that rear naked choke, as you can see, was the top mount. So I got what I wanted. I didn't go about it the way I could have, but I think that's also what led to me being able to get the position. I, uh, like I said, I wanted this, uh, I wanted that position, but I went through the submission to get the position instead of actually just going for the transition, Um, obviously. And obviously, I could have went for the top mount transition and backside, or in back sitting, which he denied, obviously, because he didn't deny the rear naked like choke. And then, once again, even showing you once more how much he wanted to deny the top mount transition, he did not deny the rear naked like choke. But unfortunately, him, obviously, probably forgetting that, that if you go, and also probably not believing, I just go for it straight away, and, you know, with no GA, with no stamina um, advantage, obviously, I go for it there, and uh, thankfully enough, able to lock in that submission. So, yeah. There we go, high level fight, and uh, yeah, fighting the books, won the money for uh, all the people out there betting on me, which I appreciate, you know, having that confidence in me, because not even I had that confidence in me that fight at least, but yeah, appreciate us all for watching once again, good fight to easy work of course, uh, had me on the ropes there for a while, Um, like, like if you haven't already as well, subscribe, and uh, yeah, turn on that notification bell as well while you're at it, and uh, yeah, appreciate us all for watching once again, peace out.